Hey, what's up? This is the last video about Yumedici Power 3, and here I want to draw the conclusion about this smartphone. Let me tell you what I liked and disliked in this mobile device. If you want to buy Yumedici Power 3, then I recommend you to watch our previous 4 videos about this smartphone, such as unboxing, performance test, camera test, and battery test. The links will be in the description. Let's get started. I really like the design of Yumedici Power 3. It has hole punch display with a very thin bezels around the screen. Also, the back panel is made of plastic. It looks and feels very nice. There are quad camera and fingerprint reader on the back. Also, the smartphone has USB Type-C port, 3.5mm audio jack, dedicated slot for microSD memory card, and NFC. The display is great. It has 6.53 inch diagonal and Full HD Plus resolution. It is very bright and contrast. Another advantage of Yumedici Power 3 is hardware. The smartphone is equipped with Hila P60 chipset, 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal memory. I think it is a good hardware for budget smartphone. Yumedici Power 3 has a good results in benchmarks, for example 170,000 points in Antutu. Also, I have played PUBG Mobile, Asphalt 9 and Call of Duty Mobile. I didn't find any problems while playing games. Yumedici Power 3 runs on Android 10 operating system. The manufacturer says that it is stock Android, but it is not so, because the icons are a little changed. However, there are Google apps pre-installed, such as Play Store, YouTube and others. In general, the user interface is fast and smooth. The photos on the main 48 megapixels camera are great. They are high detail, bright and clear, especially in sunny weather. Also, I am a big fan of wide-angle cameras. Yumedici Power 3 has 13 megapixels of wide-angle camera, and it takes quite good images. Yumedici Power 3 has a large battery of 6150mAh. It provides long battery life, almost 10 hours of continuous video playback on YouTube. The new Yumedici phone supports global LTE bands, so you can use a smartphone almost in every country of the world. There is also NFC for contactless payments. The sound quality from the built-in speaker is OK for budget phone. It is loud enough and has some bass. The first drawback of Yumedici Power 3 is software updates. To be precise, there are absents. The last update from my smartphone was released January 16th, for more than two months. My phone hasn't received updates. I think that Yumedici Power 3 will get one more software update, but after half a year. The manufacturer will forget about this phone. As you know, Yumedici Power 3 has quad camera on the back, the main 48 megapixels sensor and 13 megapixels wide-angle lens are good, but 5 megapixels bokeh sensor and 5 megapixels micro camera are poor. I think that quad camera is only a marketing trick, because most likely you will not take portrait and macro photos because of the low quality sensors. Also, the camera doesn't have image stabilization, so the video footage is quite shaky. Yumedici Power 3 has 18 watts fast charging support, but because of the large battery, the charging takes a long time, about 3 hours and 20 minutes. Now you can see a table of pros and cons of Yumedici Power 3. I really like this smartphone. It is very good for the price, only $140. Thank you for watching. I am waiting for your comments under the video. You can also hit the like button and subscribe to our channel Tech Brothers.